I just um, a couple of days ago got a five dollar like coupon to Michael's, so essentially I can get five dollars worth of stuff for free. I'm gonna try to pick something out and then make an art piece with it. Let's see what they got. So here we are walking into Michael's. Um, let's see. I'm excited what they have. The clearance rack is always a good place to start. So it's looking promising, lots of different art kits. This is just a little segue, but I'm filming this in July and I can't believe they have Halloween stuff already. It looks cool, these hands are new, but already in July? No! This looks promising, I might use it. Let's think. Here I'm just talking myself out of buying all of the succulents because, oh my gosh, they're on clearance. These things were like 60 cents, but no, that's not what we're here for. Not buying these adorable little succulents. No. Considered buying some paint, but I just bought some for both um, the Createology project and for a class I was teaching. So it just felt like paint is not the right thing to buy right now, but they do have a lot of it. For all of my friends out there who shop the old Dollar Tree, you know, you know you can get that little bottle for a buck twenty-five. These were cool at 99 cents a piece. These wooden frames might be a good fit. Even more paint. Again, the paint is tempting me because it feels like the paint could be pretty versatile. More brushes, more paint kits. And then the final clearance aisle, which looks like it's huge and abundant, but I will say was a little bit disappointing. Are you ready to see my Michaels haul? Admittedly, a very pathetic haul, but remember my budget was $5 and I was able to get two things. The first one is this Createology. I don't know, they say it's a bird feeder kit, but I saw this and I was like, this would be a really cute bird slash squirrel feeder. Um, I am going to ignore the paint that came with it, but I think I can do some really cool stuff with stains if I can get rid of this face. Obviously this really cheapens the whole thing down. And then because I had some money left over, I just got this Stabilo um, fine liner because one can never have, or at least I don't know about one, I can never have too many black liners. So that is my impressive Michaels haul. And we'll be focusing on this bird slash squirrel feeder. I'm really thinking of it more like a squirrel feeder. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, faces are gone. So in my initial plan, I think I'll stain the Rufa color and then these bits that pop out. So the grass and the clouds a different color and leave this in the raw wood. I am keeping these guys because I think I might add some gold accents to the whole thing. I think that'll look pretty. So since I've had a few mishaps, like the drips on both sides, and also because the color palette is looking a little bit drab, I'm going to, instead of leaving the pieces I was going to leave blank blank, I'm going to um, stain them with some kind of like honey yellowish warm thing. I'm gonna let these dry. And then before I stain with the yellow, I'm gonna sand off the bits that dripped and we'll see how that turns out. decided I needed a little something extra so I gave it a couple of sprays of silver paint and then gave it a little bit of a gloss. I love how this thing turned out. I wish I had a treat to hang it off of but it looks really cute on this fence as well. Can't wait to see some birdies in it hopefully and some squirrels. So there you have it, my little bird feeder slash squirrel feeder. I like have no idea what I was on about with that. So I fully acknowledge this project was a bit of a cheat because the base was from Michael's 
It cost three bucks on clearance. The pen was $1.49. I did not use it for this project. I just used my $3 base. I did use a whole bunch of other supplies I already had. However, I do think that this is a really cool way to, you know, get something that's inexpensive, elevated, make it cute. I really like how my bird feeder kind of looks like something from Midsommar, you know, it's, I really, I dig it. So this was a fun project. Thank you for watching. But again, I acknowledge that was a little bit of a cheat.